Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my living room. So our living room is finally complete and I can't wait to share this video with you. I dug out the footage of when we first moved in and I did do a little bit of recording whilst we were decorating. So I've put it all together and put it into this video for you so you can see what it was like before and what it's like now. I'm still so excited to be buying new homeware. Um, so I feel like I keep buying new bits and changing things around and just moving things around generally in this room anyway. Especially because of the shelves that you'll see in this video. Um, I just keep kind of restyling them and keep moving things around. So I feel like this room is gonna be one of those rooms that is gonna be changed around quite often. But for now, this is what it's like and I'm really excited to share this with you. So this is how you come into the living room and here it is. It feels like a complete different room. I'm really, really pleased with this and it's one of my favorite rooms in the house. I feel like I always say that about every room, but I spent a long time planning um, this room and trying to configure these um, shelving units. So I'm just really, really pleased with how this has turned out. Please excuse the skirting boards here. They are just being stored there for my office while we're waiting for the flooring to be delivered. Um, we ran this herringbone flooring all the way through the downstairs, through the living room, dining room and kitchen. Really pleased with it, it looks so good. As you come straight into the living room um, and the kind of shape of the living room, I was really keen to get a corner sofa or to have the sofa to kind of run around here. So it kind of gave you like a little walkway um, to come around and then it really gave this area a really nice sort of uh, cozy feel. So I'm just gonna walk you around here. So I keep changing the plants around. Um, I repotted this one the other day, so he is there for now. I will link everything down below, um, but this plant pot is from Matalan and the plant I got from the local garden center. This area, I didn't really know what to do with it. I've thought about doing perhaps a gallery wall, um, but as these two areas were quite busy and there's quite a lot going on, I actually wanted to keep this area fairly simple. I got this table from Etsy um, and it just fits in really, really well. Because we painted the inside of the fireplace black, I wanted to bring in um, some black accessories and hints of black um, to kind of, I don't know, just to mix it up with the cream a little bit. So I'm really pleased with this table. And then this is actually faux eucalyptus. This is just from Ikea. And I've got a couple of little bits on here. We've got a diptyque candle, one of my prints from Desenio. Um, I've had this for so long. I don't even know what I used to keep in it, but I just thought it's actually a really good place just to keep our keys um, and just a reed diffuser there. So as soon as we saw this house and when I'd been looking at pictures on Pinterest, I knew that if we were gonna have a chimney breast, I really, really wanted these cupboards either side. I just feel like otherwise, I'm not sure, it's a bit, perhaps a bit of dead space if you don't utilize it. And I just thought, let's, you know, do something really nice with it. And I couldn't be happier with how these turn out. So Tom built all of these um, by hand. So we've got cupboards down here and then shelves up here. We were just going to have shelves without the kind of divider bits, but, because it was quite a long area and if I was putting books and heavier things on them they would start to kind of bow a little bit so we actually put these dividers in more kind of more for structural kind of keep them um, really secure and safe this area I play around with all the time and I'm kind of always mixing it up because 
I still feel like I'm buying lots of new bits and just changing it up. So I'm just kind of seeing what works at the moment. So at the minute, we've got this big glass vase from Ikea and this pampas grass, which is actually foraged. Um, I've I've got some other large pampas grass, which is from the little deer, but this was actually just foraged. And I've just got some little bits and bobs here. I've got a little stack of the Cereal City Guides. I really love kind of finding these little trinkety bits. I love this little dinosaur. Um, that's from a company called Lisa Angel. This sand timer, every time I put it on, I go to time how long it takes and I forget. Um, but it does go on for quite a long time. I've got lots of gorgeous little bits from H&M Home. H&M Home is so nice. They have so many gorgeous bits. That vase is from Next. And then I've just filled the um, shelves up with lots of other little bits. Um, I'll link everything down below, but we've got the sculpture from H&M, some books. I was looking for a clock for so long, and it's actually a really hard thing to find. Um, originally, I did want to put it here, um, but this is just a little bit too tall, and it kind of, sits right up against the mirror and doesn't quite look right but i think it looks really nice there and then just got some more other little bits and bobs here so the fire surrounding here um was actually what was already on it but we cut it back quite a lot because it was sticking out quite fast so we cut it back and the same with the bottom bit that kind of i think that might have come out to like even about here so we cut it all back just for space saving and just so it wasn't so sort of clumpy because it did felt a bit too much before. Um, we painted all of the inside black, filled it up with real logs that I bought on eBay and I think it just finished it off so nicely. This was two packs of the logs and as you can see there's a bit of a gap at the top but I don't really want to buy another bag so I think I'm just going to leave it as that. And then just got a few little simple bits um, on the top. This is dried eucalyptus um, candles. Um, and some of this, I think its nickname is something like cotton wool or something. Um, but I think it looks really nice and the colours of it just tie in with this room really nice. And then coming round, I'm going to show you this area first. So the sofa is from DFS. It's really hard to choose a sofa because it's such a big purchase and you're going to have it for so long. I went to the showroom to see a few and just really, really liked this. Just wanted something quite easy and neutral and I feel like this just fits in well. And if we do decide to paint this room one day, I feel like this colour will kind of work with anything and we did get the footstool as well which is so nice but we move the coffee table over put the footstool tuck it right in it's just basically like having a huge bed and it's so nice most of the cushions are from H&M home I've been obsessed with H&M home so many gorgeous pieces um, I kind of just chuck the pillows wherever um, and just mix up the layout of those. And then this is actually our third coffee table. Um, I just haven't found one that I loved and I knew that, I knew kind of all along what I wanted, but I just couldn't find it and every one that I bought, it just, it just wasn't right. So this is the third time lucky and I feel like this is the one that is going to stay. I actually found it on a website called Denetti, which I've never shopped at before, never heard from before, but it's great. And then on top, I've just popped my Chanel book, um, a neon candle, which smells so divine. Some coasters, vase is from H&M. And then I've just f had these bits. Um, I think I got this corn in a PR parcel and I actually bought these honey tails from Etsy as well. Um, you can buy loads of these little bits and bobs on Etsy and then I just mix them together. This side of the fireplace was basically all designed around the TV um, and making it fit perfectly. It's got the same cupboards underneath and then Tom added in these two sections to put like the skybox and the playstation under there on this side we've got the skybox and the playstation haven't filled this side yet we've got the sound bar here just pop a plant on that side and some tea lights there and then above the tv up here i haven't quite finalize this side yet this is still all a little bit of a work in progress and then over here we have this really really nice rattan basket again just bringing a bit of the black details in and we just keep our blankets in here because um in the evenings if bertie's getting on the sofa i just like to put these on because he has had a couple of accidents on the sofa and he eats his bones on the sofa which make a bit of a mess so we just pop the blankets over the sofa at the moment 
here's the footstool that we ordered with the sofa and then I've just got these little tables here so I bought these from River Island Home when they when they were doing their homeware it's such a shame that they've stopped it at the moment because I really really liked their pieces the tops are solid marble and they're really really heavy the quality of them is amazing um, at the moment I've kind of just got a little plant and some sort of bits and bobs over here um, I'd like to get something obviously to put in here and to fill this not a hundred percent shot yet so I'm just going to leave that for now then we've just got a little lamp here that we pop on in the evening um, I think this was from a company called Klaus Olsen. We went for brush gold sockets and switches. I'm really, really happy we did. I feel like it's just such a nice little um, extra touch and just finishes it off so nicely. The skirting board is ruining the vibe here. Um, but Tom very cleverly built the panelling to go up the stairs. Um, this was just built from MDF and then popped a little handrail on top here as well. As you would have seen from the before photos, this staircase was completely open, um, which felt actually quite scary walking up it because it just really felt like you could fall out easily. So we put spindles all the way up here as well and I feel like it just makes it look so much neater, cleaner, and just finishes off this area. So colors that we used in here, we used Gentle Lamb on all of the walls, and then all of the woodwork is white. I feel like those colors work really well with the floor and just works perfectly together. I'm sure you'll agree how hard it is to find the right color and I think when you do a swatch you just kind of do a small square it's really hard to picture what it's gonna look like all over the walls but I'm really happy with how it came out and we actually used this color all up the stairs and actually up into the landing upstairs as well I wanted to add a bit of character into the room as well and I'd spent so much time on Pinterest and I had seen so many ceiling roses. So I bought this one from Plaster Ceiling Roses and then it was really hard to find a pendant light that was quite simple that would look right with the ceiling rose. So I found this on Laradette. It's really hard to clean and it shows up every kind of smear when you're trying to clean it um, but you can't really see that from here so that's okay the understairs door was just changed slightly we actually kept the door and then Tom just put a bit of MDF around the outside painted and then we changed the um, doorknob and it's just made such a difference obviously all of the skirting boards and architraves and woodwork as well was changed in here this was the original door that was here and we just painted it white and we just added um, a nice gold handle on here as well. We've used these all throughout the house as well as the sockets and switches. So there we go, that is our living room. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love if you could give it a thumbs up and if you don't already, I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel. I did another video on the renovation of the whole of the upstairs of the house. So I'll link that video below as well if you fancy watching that. And as I said, all of the products that I have mentioned in this video will also be linked below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.